welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be uh, doing the latest travel news worldwide part one. So uh, let's jump right into it. Now just before we jump right into it if you could uh, please subscribe if you haven't already done to uh, to um, either my uh, travel or lifestyle channel um, I upload at least three times but just recently because there's not that many hours where I work at Morrison's I'm uploading five times a week and um, again I love uh, talking about both travel and uh, lifestyle absolutely love it and um, well it's the red and white button and if you also click the notification bell it'll also give you every video that I upload so let's fire away now according to breakingtravelnews.com the following 10 fantastic fabulous news facts in regards to travel are here so let's jump right into it now Cooper steps down as Eurostar's chief executive he will step down as chief consecutive Mike Cooper and uh, take over European passenger transport operator Arriva um, in October 2020 so he's moving to another job I hope the next Eurostar um, chief executive uh, will be um, as good hopefully uh, fingers crossed and um, I hope um, Mike Hooper likes his new job as transport operator at Arriva moving on unfortunately at the moment there's no return for Morella Cruises until November 2020 this year it has extended a pause in operations until November this year um, the 15th at the earliest it says it's um, will depart um, the line is the th third largest in the UK and is said um, the ongoing uncertainty around the travel restrictions uh, promoted the decision so again um, it's probably for the best because if they can't um, comply with their travel restrictions and it's a lot more harder on a say cruise ship um to space out etc and to have all the restrictions in place um so hopefully morella cruises um will get uh, back up and running in november this year so um number three is abita warns travel jobs at being lost at an alarming rate as many as 31,000 jobs have already been lost or placed at risk across the outbound travel sector since the COVID-19 started according to new research um, it's really awful um, and I really hope that Abita can save the rest of the jobs or as many jobs as possible fingers crossed they will do and tourism will start to rebuild again and moving on again to number four Rhinos Waterworld Act 2 opens up in Kazakhstan wow with 500 room property and 
it sit on its own 400 meter long beach wow own private beach in this hotel and resort it has all the in inclusive or all-inclusive luxury resort and offering some 500 square meters of promenade pier and sunbathing area is 200 and sorry and some uh, 500 square meter of promenade pit and sunbathing area all in one and 23 suites and 15 luxury villas as well wow i've seen this um hotel on breakingtravelnews.com for more information about um it you can find on breakingtravelnews.com and it looks absolutely brilliant and i really hope it boosts tourism for kazakhstan and the Aktu area of kazakhstan again it seems a really interesting country and um, to go and visit and obviously um when it's safe to do so um I hope people will return so again hotels not just in Kazakhstan but hotels and accommodation all around the world can get um, a really large boost etc so again it looks really good um, the swimming pool looks um amazing for non uh, for mom for non mom, mom, <laughs> just say and uh, number five sta Stra uh, travel exceeds is trading in the uk as a pandemic sites um so unfortunately that travel agency organizing has unfortunately closed down um i really hope um that um other travel agencies and existing tour operators um again um can um escape um or um do well out of the pandemic but again it is really are hard really and i just fingers crossed um in the future more travel companies will start up and uh, and tour operators um new tour operators and existing tour operators um will be able to again create more holidays etc and um, number six fred alston is to retire Brudica and black watch cruise ships um again it's probably best um again all round and hopefully they'll get some new ships fingers crossed and um, in the future number seven a core rumored to be considering a move um for an in international hotel group so um again fingers crossed um things will go ahead there as planned i wish i call the best of luck and at number eight jet2.com is to boost portugal offering following the government's move they are having more trips to go to portugal um the algarve especially and the uk's government decision to add jet2.com to boost portugal offering following the government's move they have more trips to go to portugal following the uk's government decision uh, to add the country to the quarantine 
safe zone list so yay that's really exciting now number uh, nine manchester airport closed number nine is manchester airport closes terminal as the demand stumbles uh, they are closing terminal two unfortunately terminal two car park will be closed on september the second and um, i would check with your airline if your flight is still going ahead or move to a, a different terminal now last but not least cox and king target solo travelers as a reported increase in demand for solo travel no single room supplements also uh, for any solo travelers yay for the first three places booked wow that's amazing i really hope um it continues to grow um the luxury cox and king and people won't need to pay single room supplements yay for solo travelers that's really good news so thank you for watching and i'll love you all you all mean the world to me and i'll see you in my next travel video which is going to be the latest travel news part two which is going to be wednesday thank you everybody and bye for now stay safe thank you bye